Hey guys, this is Puchkov Development here. No, I didn't forget about my YouTube account. I was really busy with school and kind of, uh, and that kind of stuff. So I will take another exam this week, and then I will have a lot of free time. By a lot, I mean really a lot of free time to make iPhone SDK tutorials. As you know, in earlier this year, I think in March, Xcode 4 came out, and. Uh, I have been working on my new game project, it will be released this summer, and I was working on, on SDK Tutorials 3.0. That will... it is almost finished, and I will upload it to the App Store today or tomorrow. There will be three parts, one will be Coco Studio, another one will be for beginners, and another one will be advanced. So there will be three parts of it. Uh, so, I had some problems with Xcode 4. It, it changed a lot, and a lot of stuff is different from Xcode 3.2.1, or which one was the latest one? I don't remember. So, I decided to make a tutorial on how to use Xcode 4 and what are the main differences. So, here is what it looks like when you open it up. Uh, let's create new project and it looks pretty same as the old one there's not much difference here in the choose template menu let's select view based application so this is what's different you can change it let's select the product name I will call it test test and uh, the company identifier you can set it here in my case it's Puchkov Media and device family is iPhone let's click next you can also create git repository for this project so you have uh, all control so you have uh, you can see all the versions of your app in one place if you like if you had a function or a new feature and uh, your app doesn't work you can just uh, see what you changed and uh, what crashed your app so let's create so this is the main view of Xcode 4 here you can see all our project files frameworks it's pretty much the same as old one So here is the search. If you have a lot of classes, you can search here. And this is uh, the issues bar. When you build it and you have issues, it will show all the errors and warnings here. So this is a debugger thing. I think it's when you, will, you need to use this. I'm not really sure. I haven't used it yet. You need to use this when your app crashes for some reason. So this is a breakpoint menu and log. Okay. And one of the main differences is the new in uh new oh, I'm not what was it called? I forgot. So, new builder. Inter oh, interface builder. I can remember it. So, I haven't used it for a while. Now, old one. So, this new interface builder is included in Xcode, not as a separate app, but as a part of this app. And you'd wonder, how am I supposed to find all the UI elements? Where, where did they go? This is when you need to use these three buttons, view buttons. Basically, these are buttons that help you arrange your Xcode screen. And I like them, but I wasn't familiar with them at first. So when you click the right button, this identity inspector menu will come out. 
So here you can see all the objects, all the file templates, all code snippets, objects and media library. I don't have any media files in my project right now. So let's add Let's make a simple design. I will add a search bar. Uh, I will add a search bar, a toolbar with an item. I will rename it to hello. Like that. As you see, it's pretty similar to old one. You can just add all the elements. And to build it, you need to run this app. Sometimes you might close this top bar by accident, but this is how you open it. You click View, Show, Hide, uh, Show. So I'm gonna hide everything. So View, Show Toolbar, and Show Tab Bar. You can also show Debug Area. We can hide it by clicking this button. Uh, I will I will bid it, build this project in the iPhone simulator and another project that I had is actually using actually uh, changing names of the files inside of Xcode so as you see it's this it's pretty similar to old one search works uh, not search but the bar works I'm gonna quit simulator another problem that I had and took me a while to figure out is how to rename these folders when you create them. Clicking them twice doesn't work. It used to work in all the Xcode. And this is when the power of the identity inspector comes. Here you can change the group name to anything you want, like iPhone, app, and it, it changed it. You can change its path text settings and all that kind of cool stuff so this is the easiest way to rename your project and another difference between old Xcode and new one is, organ is a new organizer it shows you so you can see all your projects here with all the data as you see all of these projects I moved them and my Xcode can't find them so I'm gonna delete them delete repositories it's like I showed the gip thing you can add branches name them branches are parts of your project so if you want to add new files to your project you want to add new features you will use branch and develop it and add a separate branch from your main project uh, so here is our new library all the profiles, so my profiles, provisioning profiles. Well, this project expired. I'm gonna delete it. It's all software images, as you see here, I have 3.2.1. I think it's for iPhone 4. All device logs for all apps. Crash. So you can see wh why app of a developer crashed. And I have all my devices here. So I just got a white iPad. Weird. It is white. Well, I don't know why it shows black. You can also see your screenshots here. All of your screenshots. Okay, I will show you the preview of my app. So, oh. These are actually old screenshots. I, I wrote all, tutor, all new tutorials for all of my apps. Actually, I rewrote all tutorials for SDK tutorials. And I wrote new tutorials. For example, this is my Cocos. It was supposed to be the Cocos 2D uh, app. Not a Cocos 2D app, but SDK tutorials Cocos 2D. But it 
at first I decided to use PDFs to display all the files but as you noticed, I hope you noticed, I have huge pictures and never use P P PDF files to d never display PDF files using UI web view. It is like the it's it is the worst thing ever to do to do ever. Never ever do that. The first thing what it did, it used about sixty megabytes of RAM every time it tried to load my PDF file and then when you zoom it in and zoom it out it is super slow and RAM usage goes up to 120 megabytes and that is a huge amount of RAM it is a really huge amount so an app used to crash so now I changed it a bit I will m I will make an ad video for my app soon I mean today or tomorrow and I will post it to my YouTube. So here are all your projects that you have created now. Test, test. I'm not really sure why it's... There are two test projects, but whatever. Archives. Here you have all your old projects. I think, I think, I'm not sure you're supposed to have your old projects here. And the documentation. You can search anything you want. Oh, so here it is. It shows you what it what everything is. So this is a toolbar, navigation selector bar, breakpoint. This is a breakpoint gutter, navigation area, focus ribbon, debug area, editor area, utility library, inspector. Yay! So this is almost it. Another thing. If you have let me close the, these two windows to have more space and you might ask what are these buttons for they're they have a great purpose they're for a great purpose and they're really really useful so basically if you have you open the view controller that H and you press this button it will show you view controller that M here let's add an IB action and what a, what great about this Xcode 4 is it builds everything automatically. So for example, as you see it showed a wording here and here. So it's semantic issue. So it builds on the go. Like it's similar to Windows C sharp builder, I think. I'm not sure what it's called. But I don't know why Apple didn't implement it a while ago, but it works and it's awesome. So next, and if I let's next int equal to one. So I forgot to create an integer next int, and it will show you an error automatically. So this is one of the greatest things about this Xcode. So here is the main window. Okay, I'm running out of time. Here you can change identifier version i device. Deployment target main interface. You can change the supported device orientations here. You just you just drag and drop app icons here and line images. So info build settings will free. Everything is pretty similar to old Xcode. There's not a huge difference. So this was an overview of SDK, oh not SDK, Xcode 4, the 4.2.3 SDK, iOS 4.2.3 SDK, I think. So thanks for watching, now please stay tuned for my next videos and get a SDK tutorial 3.0 in the App Store. It is not out yet but I will post link below when it comes out. So thanks for watching, bye!